This just coming out in the last 24 hours, and the headline reads, Terrifying World War III warning as Putin's crony lists the seven UK locations that Russia will nuke first. And again, this is in response to what's unfolding right now with the United States and Germany uh, getting involved in the Russia-Ukraine war. Now, one of Vladimir Putin's cronies has threatened the UK with nuclear Armageddon and listed seven key targets that would be hit first in the event of World War III. Yevgeny Popov is a TV propagandist and host of the program 60 Minutes on Channel Russia One. Now, the Kremlin stooge, the article says, launched a furious tirade against the United States' plans to deploy its missiles to Germany. Now, just to clarify, my understanding of what unfolded last week is the United States is planning to do this over the course of the next couple years. However, they are not happy with this response. And just a week later, they're saying that these will be the seven targets that we will hit with nuclear weapons uh, as this progresses. The UK was firmly in his sights as he warned Keir Starmer that it would take just three Russian missiles to collapse the British society. Special attention to Britain, our traditional enemy, as a significant part of Russian northern fleets will work against the UK, he said. Under attack, Washington has put not only London, but also Manchester, Birmingham, the largest naval base in Devonport, the Clyde in Scottsdale in Scotland, where the king stores his Trident nuclear missiles, Portsmouth, as well as uh, Chatham Dockyard in the county of Kent. They are at risk, they said. And I apologize if I mispronounced those, um, but those are the seven ones that they said would be the first to be hit with nuclear weapons. This is Britain at its most vulnerable. Basically, all it would take is three missiles, and this civilization would collapse, they said. So Russia threatening directly Britain and these seven locations. Now, the United States has agreed with Germany to station non-nuclear Tomahawk crews, SM-6, and hypersonic missiles in Germany from 2026. So uh, this is the warning that's coming out from Russia as a result of what's unfolding with the United States and Germany. Now, the decision was welcomed by Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who said it fitted exactly into his government's security strategy. Now, however, Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister, Sergei Rybakov, issued a stark warning to Berlin, insisting Moscow would respond militarily to this decision. He said that NATO was now fully involved in the conflict. So Russia is saying that they are at war, essentially, with NATO. And we've also heard them say with the United States, as a result of the United States providing missiles to Ukraine and allowing them to use it against Russia. And he called the move just another link in the chain of a course of escalation. Now, a video simulation of a nuclear war between NATO and Russia made by researchers at Princeton University back in 2019 estimates that some 34 million people would lose their lives with another 91.5 million having casualties. Towards the start of the video titled Plan A, Russia sends 3,000 warcrafts to NATO bases across Europe. The simulation then shows London and surrounding areas targeted with the whole European continent being hit in just three hours, with an estimated 2.6 million losing their lives or being injured. London is depicted as being carpet bombed and Europe is devastated, at which point NATO launches a further 600 warheads from U.S. soil and via nuclear submarines aimed at Russia's nuclear forces, with Russia responding with a salvo of its own. There are further a further 3.4 million casualties in just 45 minutes. Both sides then launched further strikes on major population centers, with another 85.3 million people losing their lives and wounding, uh, losing their lives and being wounded.